Good Saturday morning. Another beautiful day in Norco, California. Headed to uh, Hot Rods and Horse Town.
uh, sheriff substation is right over there. Thanks for saving my spot. Thanks for saving my spot. I appreciate you guys saving this for me. I do. Between my ears. I thought you had a plug wires crossed. It's got a rough idle. Yeah. <laughs> People keep telling me I can fix that. Everybody said I can fix that. I can take care of that. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. I've had beers with the guy. And they go through the road to the liquor store. Yeah, they're morons. So they got to have it separate. I took the whole thing out. Stop talking about my family. Separate? Yeah. Yep. But we don't mind only wiring those cars out back. Nice. We have some nice cars in this town, I tell you. Fernando's El Camino. Eba. This this thing is just totally <laughs> one of the quickest tempests around. No trans break either. Well, we're talking to me. I could hear my car run. <laughs> That's Gary. Pro Street for a busy tonight. Nice. Finally moved his uh, little cutlass over here. Well, it's F85 cutlass, in. Skylark, same thing, same body style. It's got a little uh, LS6 in it. Nice 56. The 62 though is clean. It was clean. You missed your dad. He went home to get money. For what? He has money? <laughs> I hope he put it in his will. <laughs> this is just too nice. Too nice. Really. Five speed. Radio delete. Yeah, we were in the I took out. I sold to a guy. I took out. I sold to a guy. 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 I sold to
out of 56 Nomad. Traded it for a new Corvette. What a mistake. Nice little square back. Nova. And Jeff's 46. A little second gear. Hear the BS flying over there. Good morning, sir. How are you? How you doing? How you doing? Put that on the door. How you doing? How you doing? Glass. Icing on the belly. What? What? Oh, you just back because I didn't come and give you some loving? I didn't give you some loving, huh? I didn't give you some loving? Oh, that's a smart. Yeah, that's a smart. Yeah. No crowds, no no liars. Well, not too many liars. <laughs> no, uh, oh, I don't want to say this. <laughs> no, no uh, females to argue with. No little kids. Just these guys. And the 62s. Morning. Good, good. He's got a uh, F100 too. That's beautiful. This is nice. This is nice. God, this is beautiful. With the stereo in there. This is a 502. Great build. And we've seen the 55 before. I like that matching uh, mask. You like that, huh? You need to put some stripes on it, though, you know? What does it say? Oh, don't tell me it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> oh, uh, that looks like it works very well. <laughs> That's funny. You probably could start making those and make a mint. If you were so ambitious. Well, Rick's white made them for me. The guy's yellow alfredo. Really? Well, that was nice of her. Yeah, it's uh, better than BLM. Huh? Better than saying BLM. Yeah. <laughs> don't get you started. Right, right. Yeah, but they don't give a shit that they shot forty of them in a in a. Uh, I never tell you That's no. Bill. Tell me no. There you go. Oh, do you want orgasm? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> oh, man. What is that? That's a new one here. That's a 29 Roadster. Oh, a flathead. Has he been here before? This Roadster right here. Yeah, that's a bunch of stuff. Oh. Don't make it all the noise. No room for you there. Check out this guy's mustache. These are the twins. They're uh, both... Uh, 67s or 68s first year of no win wings
Yeah, they hey, Tommy. What's Mikey, what's up? Good morning, good morning. Hey, who did your artwork on your on those posters? Uh, Which poster? On the on the Bonneville posters and the uh, Mirage. Yeah, Bill Latin had that guy do it. That uh, no, was Latin or was it? I thought it was uh, Scott at Yeah. Classic graphic designers. Classic graphic? Yeah, they do everything. Okay. I could have them do some graphics for me. Hey, uh, I went and did a little research on Goldenrod. The car is at Ford Museum. They, they took it there. You guys took it there? You, well, know, you, want, you want to read a book? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm going. And I got you mentioned there about being the curator of the... Very interesting story. Now they got a really, really bitching book about about the whole the whole history of it. I, I, I mean, is, what, what other car? What other car has held a, re a record for forty two years? Many. It was a, it was considered a ghost record for how many years until uh, we were there when it, when it got broke. <laughs> what happened? It was that, when, when the the record got broke. Oh oh oh! It was at his meet. <laughs> wow. But that is. I can't ever think of his name. Yeah, I was wondering what you guys were going to do for golf. Uh, we were going to play golf, and now Steve moved out there to Hammond. George Poteet. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't break. Uh, Spirit of Red. That's a little further away. Charles Nearburg. Nearburg. Because all I remember is, is back as a, as a kid reading Reader's Digest and reading a story about Art Alphonse and the Green Monster in Reader's Digest. Love, right, right, right. In fact, like I was, yeah, there was a garage. Name, I told you the other day, named Bree Love, right there. Yeah. That garage is named Bree Love. I go, is that the same guy? I guess not. But how many Bree Loves are there in the world? Like young bloods. Was was uh, where, where is he? I know he was around from around here somewhere. Who's that? Greedy boy. Greg, yeah. He was. So now I know he, he lives up in Sacramento now. That is a killer mustache he's got, man. Look at that thing. That looks dangerous. Oh yeah. Take out some heads. He said his place is all. Hey Steve. Makes your car look bitching. <laughs> good, good job parking next to his. <laughs> no, no, no. Fernando's is nice. Oh God. So uh, I put the valve covers on YouTube or on eBay, right? I found a picture of the engine and I put them on there. There's got to be close to a thousand people. I had only had it up two days. Who's who's looked at it? So it's very it's amazing to find a picture of the engine with the exact valve covers on. But the story is just amazing. The reason we put new valve covers on it when we restored it, those were so rusty and dead. Right. And I couldn't put them away because they were part of history. I know, I know. And that's how I'm presenting them as history. Same with the injector tubes. You saw the injector tubes. Right. So do we have all the valve covers? Or do you know? Oh, those are the only two. Oh, there's a two sets or four? There's all, you said you had four sets. Two sets. Two sets, that's four valve covers. Okay, so. Because the ones that, that I took... I gave, like, I, probably John Beckel, I gave him a set, you know. Yeah. yeah. I put them in places that people... Had. I think they would look neat on the mount with a picture of the uh, car and, and a story on the record. Yeah. But the problem is, is there's just not a lot of people alive still that love this stuff, you know? It's just diminishing. And until they get to start to get the kids involved, nothing's going to change. I mean, look at everybody here. 98% of us are over 60. I was going to say, look at the age of them. Yeah. Once they're gone. Oh, yeah. He can walk his hips out soon. Where'd it go? Get an Uber. Get an Uber hip. Uber hip.
Did she might have just moved out? Well, should we go home and try to do something useful? Yeah. So I put that video on YouTube, and and I'm I'm using the valve covers to direct everybody to the video of all the stuff we have for sale. So we're gonna start taking better pictures of that. O's engine. Oh, the O's engine. I don't want to call No one calls you. No one's calls, calling me. I left my number. That's the way you wanted it. No, you won't get nothing done. That's why they pay me the big bucks, That's right? right? That's right. Okay, you. Mike. See you, Tommy. We got the hood open. Right? Yeah. I'm hiding over here in case you're someone I know. <laughs> I don't need the own. I don't need reruns. Right. My neighbor. He's not home, and I figured him and his wife were. <laughs> Which they never did. It was like an invitation, you know, Pure Hell, Those guys can come. car. Nobody's also They literally hunt black. They hate those black. And they fucking beat the hell out of them. This is a nice build. Such a nice build. Love this year. A Dodges. What's up, Slim? You gotta love your car. Thank you. Love it. I love yours too. Well, it's gonna be hot. You got air conditioning? <laughs> Place is getting busy. <laughs> breakfast burrito. Where? A rodeo? They have good? Yeah. Good breakfast burritos? Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh. Um, yeah. Damn it. Great. Thanks. They're good. That's just what I. I well, That's why I know where you get yours. I know where you get yours. Oh my God. I could go. <laughs> you see about it? There you go. Wait, wait, wait. You need a station. We know you're a station. Too much of a boat. I gotta stop this. Oh, well, it's such a sophisticated uh, selfie stick. Right? Yeah, it's nice. This folks. Okay, Gimbo. Reaction. I was trying to get a guy to find you. Really? Found some shade. And now they're setting. Now they got the chairs out. They wouldn't bring chairs before. Now they're all getting old. Come on, Abel. Come on. That's it? Stinks over here. It smells like bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smell all the way over there. <laughs> okay, well that will do it until uh, until we leave. The only one who has a mask on. Good turnout today. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, probably ten left, thirty, maybe forty cars.
level 62. And my car looks filthy. Because my dad left the garage door open. And it got windy. Okay, well, yeah. That should do it for today. I'll pull out of here and skedaddle. Take it sleazy. my new phone it is my new phone hopefully it has a better speaker than my last phone but there you go all the hot rods in horse town today a little view of this El Camino leaving and that would be it Shout out. I think it was a little sleeper. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Look at this. Hey, hey, look hard at that. Look hard at that. There's a little sleeper. A son of a bitch. Look at that. That's a wolf in sheep's clothing right there, baby. The slapper sticks. Yeah, the slapper sticks. I saw them a mile away. A little sleeper over here. Parts broker, huh? We might need to talk. That sounds like trouble right there, buddy. That's trouble right there. That sounds good. What is it, LS? No, it's whatever. No. Yeah. Gordon Dex block. I got somebody set a heads off a race boat that somebody wasn't somebody using. Was right, was right. Right, right. A little nitrous stuck. So where's the bottle hidden? Just thrown together, right. Just a little thrown together. Right. Sounds like it is. Man decided if it's got a bent valve in it. How are you doing, Randy? Good morning, Fernando. How are you? Good, good, good. Good to see you too. So. Yeah, it is. So you have a stuck float? No, it's not. Sounds like it smells rich, but it could just need to be cleaned out. Well, I just put all new gaskets and everything in it, checked everything. The float seems to be okay. Right now it's acting like there's no accelerator pump. No accelerator pump? I mean, when you when you hit it, yeah. it just rocks. falls. No vacuum leaks. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the vacuum well, leak, leak would. The thing was running like it had a bent valve in it, and then the fuel pump went nuts, and it just started dumping fuel. Out. So I disconnected that with just the electric. Oh, funny. No, my daughter was doing. I don't know. It's just. It's just play with it and figure out what it is. That's what's called hot rodding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it may be running a little rich, but I just jetted it down. I may have to go some more, but at least it's not dumping fuel out of here. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> a lot better than it was last time. I just... So those are two two heads, huh? Um, a 196. Actually, I think they're 206. The guy, 206? The guy, the guy pinched them out a little bit. So there's a little hidden <laughs> trick stuff to it. Oh, well, I see. It's an early block with late heads. Oh, no, early or a late block with early heads. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
could be. Because <laughs> the guy was building the, the block for a, a Econorail and then decided he didn't want it. So I just bought it off him. And so it's not a dry sump, this is just an external. This is an external. Oh, she does. She has very good taste. The problem, because the headers actually lay right against the filter. Well, oh, yeah. yeah I've done it's, that before. It's like, no, no, I'm just heating the oil. I was in downtown Los Angeles and my headers rubbed the hole in my filter. And on on oh, no. on Hollywood Boulevard, I developed a smoking. I filled the whole street with smoke. Uh, yeah. Okay. My son young and... Thank God there was an aisle zone right there to swap filters. <laughs> yeah. Lucky me. Well, sounds good, man. Sounds good. I love it. I love the look. I love. Don't ever wash it. Just keep it like this. The only thing I gave it away with the little fat tires and the slappers. What rear end is it? Uh, 373. Just a so it doesn't do nothing, bolt. does it? It's a 10 bolt. You. This is. There's a little more to the story, I think, you know, because you don't just throw this stuff. This doesn't sound like a thrown together. Moment. I just threw it together. It's not been professionally tuned. It's not. So what kind of rockers are they? A roller? No. Regular rockers. Well, that sounds good. I mean, good for you. I mean, it's you is a budget build. It's definitely budget build. Uh, the only thing, well, I put in a 700 R4, which gives me. Yeah, well, there you go. Gives me a bunch more there. <laughs> That'll help you out with the 373. Is that what you said it was? 373? Yeah. So do you have a you have a brake hidden someplace? Trans brake? You're such a liar. No. <laughs> what a liar. I know. Yeah, Where's hidden. the nitrous button? I'm looking for a bottle. Nothing hidden. <laughs> uh, that's cool though. When I was running it, it was running real low 13. Really? Yeah. Consistently. Consistently. Yeah. Dead on. Well, so I, I think I see this. I see the bumper here. I think, oh, race week guy, you know. Uh, <laughs> got, the, got the trailer. Well, that was the... Well, even, even I see guys out there running 15s on race week. Yeah. As long as they were in the class, you know. Right. Well, that's like the one time I went racing, the guy hit the guy in the tower and goes, now we got this... Nova, four doors, a couple of extra doors. Pretty, no leg scoop, trailer hit, <laughs> and, and then, ain't going anywhere. And this, this kind of gave it away too. I'm, I'm getting rid of those. I got another hood to put on it. But the problem is it's not going to match the rest of the car. Where'd you find this? The car? Yeah. Oh, my dad found it down at the beach in 79. Well, we know it's original paint. No, it's not. That's At one time. <laughs> this, this is the original. Yeah, yeah. This is Earl Scheib from 1979. 29.95. From 79. How old that paint is. We would dream about having 29.95 to get our car painted one color. Oh, yeah. Well, it's cool, man. What's your name? Steve. Steve Randy. Hey, nice to meet you. And you're? Julie. Julie? I'm his daughter. I would hope so. Oh, yeah. I hope so. He's going to jail if you're not. This is, this is my baby. It's oh, going to be her oh, baby. Oh, yeah. good. Good. Now, I've been my baby since I was. <laughs> oh, good for you. Good for you. There's a lot of stuff it needs, but it gets me around town. But, but whatever you do, just leave it. Like I love the hubcaps. and the, Like, you know, when you put SS hubcaps, I mean, in the day, that would have been the most custom thing you could do to the car. Right, right. A friend put me to put wheels on his car and he gave you the hubcaps. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the thing. I mean, people don't understand. People get shine blind, you know. They see the same shiny stuff yeah. all the time. Uh, yeah. You know, like Corvette show. How many Corvettes can you look at? Right. right. They all look the same. Exactly. I like original. I like, I like patina. Semi-original.